Have you heard about the Debt Commission report? No, what is that? It is a bipartisan report commissioned by the President Obama to find ways to reduce the government debt. Debt? Why does the government have a debt? Because the government runs a deficit every year. Why does the government run a deficit every year? Because the government spends more money every year than it brings in through taxes. So why doesn't the government just raise the taxes so it has enough money? Because the government is run by politicians. And politicians have to be elected to be in power. If the politicians ran on a platform of raising taxes they would be defeated. So instead of raising taxes, the politicians borrow the money. But why do the politicians need all that money? The politicians need all that money so that they can spend it on people who will bribe them. Why would politicians want to be bribed? Because politicians need money to get elected, and they use the bribe money to buy elections. So who do the politicians borrow the money from? The politicians borrow money from the bond market. And who runs the bond market? The government through the treasury runs the bond market. But who buys the bonds that are sold on the bond market? People who want to lend money to the government. But why would people want to lend money to the government when it is running endless deficits? Well, actually, people are not that stupid. It is mainly foreign governments and pension funds who lend money to the government. And why would pension funds or foreign governments lend money to the U.S. government? Because the pension funds are actually controlled by liars and crooks like Bill Gross of PIMCO. And the foreign governments like China and Japan are throwing good money after bad hoping that it will turn around. If governments like China and Japan stop believing that it will turn around, won't they stop lending money to the U.S. government? Yes, those governments have already cut off their lending to the U.S. government for that very reason. So if the foreign governments have stopped lending to the U.S. government because it keeps spending more money than it has, where is the government getting its money from? The government is borrowing money directly from the Federal Reserve. And where does the Federal Reserve get its money from that it lends to the U.S. government? The Federal Reserve creates the money out of thin air. But if the Federal Reserve creates the money out of thin air, won't the other governments worry about the value of that money? Yes, they will. In fact Russia and China just signed a trade deal that is outside of the U.S. dollar because they don't trust the U.S. government to stop debasing its currency. So if foreign governments stop lending money to the U.S. government, and the only money to fund the deficit comes from the Federal Reserve, isn't the U.S. government really just printing money? Yes, the U.S. government is already bankrupt and is simply printing the money required to fund its everyday operations. But if the U.S. government is already bankrupt, then why are the interest rates so low on U.S. government debt? Because the U.S. government is buying its own debt in the bond market to keep interest rates low. But aren't the bond vigilantes supposed to police the bond market to keep that from happening? Yes, but if all the players in the U.S. bond market are smaller than the U.S. government, then they cannot sell enough to affect the U.S. interest rates. So if the U.S. government is keeping the interest rates artificially low by buying their own debt, then what keeps the U.S. dollar from collapsing on the forex markets? The reason the U.S. dollar is not collapsing on the forex markets is because the U.S. dollar index is based on a basket of currencies which are falling harder than the U.S. dollar. But if the U.S. dollar is essentially worthless, then why does it still have value? Because since 1971 when Nixon closed the gold window, all currencies are valued in terms of each other. They are free-floating, and are only related to each other in terms of value. But isn't the euro backed by one-third gold? And if so, isn't the euro a much stronger currency than the U.S. dollar? Yes, the euro is much more like a true currency than the U.S. dollar because it is one-third backed by gold. But if the euro is such a stronger currency than the U.S. dollar, then why do we see daily headlines about weakness in European nations like the pigs? Ireland just folded to the IMF for a $120 billion bailout, even though her people were opposed. Because, if the US government can make EU nations look weak, then it can divert world attention from its own insolvency. But if the US government is insolvent, then how does it help it to direct attention to the EU governments? Because, if the U.S. government can make the world look over at Europe, then it can distract the world from looking at its insolvency. But why does the U.S. government want to make the world look at Europe as insolvent when it is in the worst shape of all of them? 
because the U.S. government is doing everything it can do to stave off collapse. Soon the world will know the U.S. has run the greatest Ponzi scheme in history. And then what will happen? Then the U.S. dollar will collapse and become worthless. And if the U.S. dollar becomes worthless, how will we buy all our junk from China? You won't.